in many, many areas. Uh, MongoDB is developed over a period of 20 years. And its origin decision was to change the storage format from a record-oriented mechanism to a columnar structure. Then when we started that project in the 19th century, that was a no-go area proven by science that if you would go that direction, it would all fail. It took us seven years to prove the counter. Yes, yes, it was possible. The technology works, and an enormous large application field opened up, which is called data analytics, where this was the perfect solution. After around 2005, 2010, all major database vendors have incorporated columnary technology, which we already pioneered into the product line. So that's actually um, part of it. Actually, it's the product itself. I'm really proud of that we were able to build a MonetaB, an open source column store, with a team I had. We worked for it for about 20 years, and I'm really pleased actually that all these years I had a team of very strong hackers and dedicated to, to make this a realistic product. That's why I'm proud and still proud of their support. In this context, actually, a milestone was somewhere in 2005 when we thought, well, we have a finished product now which we can ship to the outside world. And then we looked around and we found an example in the astronomy field where people helped build a big catalog of astronomical data that was developed by Jim Gray and Alex Salai. And that was a pivotal example because that showed that astronomy could actually do their research on a database. And the database was available in public. And so we thought, well, if they can do it, if Microsoft SQL Server can do it, then we can do it as well. So we re-implemented that existing application using our technology. In the end, we were the only successor of actually mimicking that approach. And it really caused some major hurdles to be taken before we were there. It took about three, four years to finish up, but the effect was that all the technology was available now in one to be open source. You didn't have to pay Microsoft SQL Server licenses. Another major part of MonadB over the last five years is that it opened up the whole software ecosystem. A database system is not a black box where you have to use poor APIs to store data and retrieve data. No, we have achieved a blending of your favorite programming language, your favorite libraries inside the kernel they were significantly improving actually the effectiveness and the performance of your application database combination. It's important for one reason for it is that going from a row-oriented representation to a columnar representation, you get leaner files of data, and these leaner files of data gives you much more opportunities to compress your data. Compression in a column store uh, is often better than you can achieve a traditional compression structure. Now, and compression is relevant because if you can make things smaller, it requires less storage and less communication to actually get it from your disk into your memory for processing. So that's one aspect of the system. The second aspect of the system is that the execution method used in MonoDB is completely different from the, uh, the other database systems and much more attainable for parallel processing. But for the details, see the literature.